Lionsgate has announced two new updates for its Hunger Games franchise. The first is a confirmation that the final chapter, The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2, will release in IMAX 3D on November 20th. All films prior to The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 1 have screened in this format. The studio also announced that The Hunger Games The Exhibition will open in Times Square in New York on July 1st through January 3rd, 2016. The exhibition will be a series of interactive elements, galleries, costumes, props, and more to connect guests to a one of a kind experience. Dennis, what are your thoughts on this Hunger Games franchise news? Well, in terms of the exhibition, I would like to go see. I love seeing those things, the props and the costumes and stuff like that. And being in LA, we're usually the people who get to see all that stuff. So I'm kind of jealous it's only in New York and I'll be one of the people kind of complaining. Why doesn't it come, <laughs> why doesn't it come here? But as far as the, the movie, yeah, and IMAX, they released, I think the last, I think all of them in IMAX Except as well. Except for Mockingjay, yeah. Okay, and so I, I, I'm excited to see it in that format because I mentioned yesterday I got to see uh, the Game of Thrones at the AMC City Walk in IMAX and it was fantastic seeing it on the big screen and this is the type of movie that lends itself to it. Uh, I also heard that uh, uh, Deadline was reporting that the CEO of Lionsgate was interested in working on some prequels or sequels to Hunger Games, which... Shocker! We, <laughs> yes, when you have like a, the number one movie of the year domestically for I think the two times running, you, you're gonna try and find as many ways yeah. as possible milking that as much as... Like Harry can. Potter. Yes, exactly. <laughs> mm. They're like, oh, this world is done. What else can we do with it? I mean, I'm not surprised at all with either of the, you know, these tidbits. Like, usually when I hear 3D, I'm like, oh, great, gimmicky. But that's not the, you know, strategy they took with Hunger Games. It actually just added depth and dimension to it. And with the IMAX element, I think it's beautiful. So I'm okay with that. Usually when I hear that, I'm like, great, you just want more of this, mm. you know? Um, and then that interactive element, I, again, not a surprise. They're doing like the play. Do you remember that as well, oh, yeah. too? And this, which is going to be Hunger Games all the time. Um, but if there is a franchise that lends itself to something like this, it's so intricate. All the props, and you know, I can imagine what they would do with just the different um, cornucopias and just, I don't know, things like that. So I do think it could be fun. And it's only, I think, read it was like 22 bucks. I'm glad they're not trying to charge like a crazy premium for it. Yeah. Um, so I'm not surprised. And I'm going to call it right now. We're going to extend it for one month only. I mean, you're going to get lots of those, so leash. Yeah, I really want to see the exhibition because I, I, I agree. I love seeing props and the costumes close up. I think that's really cool. Apparently, the only reason that Hunger Games Part 1 wasn't in a Mocky J Part 1 wasn't in IMAX was because Interstellar, Interstellar yeah. opened two weeks before that, so it booked out all the IMAX cinemas. As for the 3D, apparently Francis Lawrence, we've got a <laughs> helicopter coming on. Raffin? Coming to get us. Um, Francis Lawrence said he saw the 3D conversion of Part 1 that they did for China, and he thought it was really great, really yeah. immersive. I can't imagine it because usually 3D works better when it's a lighter environment, and that movie was so dark, but he says he agrees. I like how it's really interesting to me how they change movies for different countries oh, yeah. and China they allow 34 US films a year and 14 of those must be in IMAX and 3D. So there's a lot of 3D conversion that goes on with these big films. But we'll see that with Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. Yeah, and if IMAX had to be selective, it's a no-brainer with Nolan and Interstellar. So yeah. Um, yeah, we'll see. Nothing surprising here. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news as well as our daily AMC movie talk show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.